Hi everyone and welcome back to uh, Norwegian modeling bench and build log number seven on the Admiral Graf's bear build. So in this build log uh, we will be focusing on uh, the funnel and also the aft superstructure. So starting on with that one and getting that one painted. Otherwise, some small uh, tasks uh, to prepare the details for the decks. So, uh, I hope you enjoy. Please like and subscribe. And uh, see you later. I also just wanted to give a shout out to, um, to Andrew, uh, 3D.net. Um, so he has made uh, this uh, swing stand uh, for 350 scale. I also have the same uh, swing stand for uh, my Titanic. And I can definitely recommend this one. Um, makes uh, life a bit easier in terms of um, securing your uh, model. Uh, as you can see, it can also be tilted. Um, and um, it can be adjusted both in height and width depending on what you're working on. Um, there are also some uh, extensions for, for um, deck fixers, he calls it, which you can use when uh, mounting down your decks to get um, pressure on and so on. So uh, please uh, take, a, take a look at his, uh, his um, products. That's what it's called. Great, thanks. So then the aft superstructure is detailed. A lot of tiny details on this part. Um, I have not added the wooden deck. I will paint this before I add the deck. I wanted to do that because it's then a bit easier to, to paint the railing which I've also attached. I think it looks quite nice. Um, nothing much to add to this, just many parts. It takes quite some time, uh, but also quite fun to do. So let's see how this ends up being painted and uh, the wooden deck installed. Okay, so then I've uh, airbrushed um, the aft superstructure. So now it's all gray and nice. Um, as always, I think that the details are popping quite nicely out when adding these, uh, this color. So now it is time to um, paint up the steel deck in, in this area. And then after that, when that's dry, adding the wooden deck here. So let's get on with painting the steel deck. So then it's time to, to paint the steel deck. I'm using um, life color as I think I mentioned already um, and I'm going to uh, to use a paintbrush to, to add the color to the deck. So uh, I'm going to do that in several layers um, and not to get stroke marks I am going to thin out the paint. So for life color I'm using this uh, acrylic thinner for life color, which I of course also use when, when using the airbrush. Um, so the same of thinner of course will be used for this case. Um, and I think that the, the best results you get when doing three strokes, so three layers of, of paint, um, just applying thinly, not trying to cover it up, and um, 
just adding on. And that, of course, gives a bit of uh, life in the color as well, I would say. So it's not all um, uniform uh, in the same way that you will get when, when using um, an airbrush. So let's see, I need to move the camera a bit so I can start on this. I'm going to just start uh, and uh, then do the rest of camera. I don't want to, to miss too much of this, but then just applying it lightly, uh, go around corners and so on, where it's of course not supposed to, to have any, any color. And then, as you see, just applying a thin, thin layer uh, and um, then go over again at least three times until I get the color I want to to have as you have seen on on the other superstructure steel deck. So then pressing on with this one. Then the steel deck has been painted and uh, four layers of, um, of paint did the trick. Uh, as you can see, it's not perfectly even and that is the purpose. Because um, the decks have wear and tear and will all definitely have different shades. So I think that's a good, um, good part of doing it like this so then it is to add the wooden deck um, before um, this part is ready for being installed on the hull then the wooden deck is on so i'll put some uh, pressure on it so it can dry into place but i think uh, when I see it on the whole, it looks very nice. So then it's just moving on with the other parts. Um, and I've been preparing some of the details for the decks, uh, reels and fair leads. I actually made a video on how to um, put together the reels, but I don't know what's happened to it uh, if I deleted it or, or whatever but um, they are quite tiny and they're co composed of um, several parts uh, bending them with a um, drill bit and uh, then putting them together uh, definitely recommend using some magnifiers of some some kind uh, otherwise, just preparing for uh, for painting of, of some of those parts. Then um, work has been started on the funnel. Uh, quite a lot of detail on it. Uh, what I did initially was, of course, um, removing all parts uh, from the plastic kit parts and then adding the photo etch parts. Um, I think it was actually quite uh, nice to to add these. A uh, bit of mindfulness in, in these tasks sometimes. Um, just spending your time trying to, to get it correctly. What I did find a bit difficult though was adding the ladders on, on, the, uh, on, the, on the side here. Uh, trying to get them aligned, that was a bit of, of a difficult uh, task, I, th I think. So the only thing uh, I need to do to complete this before painting is to add the last part of the railing. Um, and uh, then paint it up and then add some of the details. I will check a bit, but I think there are some details I will be adding because they will also be in a gray color. So then the reels and fair leads have been painted and um, ready to be assembled onto the hull. Uh, for the reels I think I will add uh, some uh, ropes, uh, well something like the 
resembles ropes at least uh, so the reels look a bit more realistic but that will be for the next uh, build log then the lower part of uh, the funnel has been painted uh, the steel deck uh, needs to get uh, its dark color uh, just look at these details I think it's really nice and I've also uh, painted up the um, the top part uh, of of the funnel. Uh, just have in mind that you don't glue these together, so the top and bottom part, before actually installing the mast. Uh, so during. Um, some dry fitting, I uh, saw that uh, you can't put this down. You have to tread the, the mast up uh, through the hole, this hole. Um, so then I, of course, need to, to add the mast before I glue this part to the, to, um, the lower part of the funnel. Uh, where the uh, the mast is going into this uh, this hole here. So keep that in mind. Um, so yeah, I need to move on painting the steel deck here before I can go forward with uh, adding the top part of the funnel. And uh, same thing with uh, the bottom part of the funnel. Uh, steel deck has been painted for layers of, um, of paint and then it looks good and of course I just also realized that one of the ladders went away uh, during airbrushing and it's nowhere to be found so let's uh, hope it just magically appears again otherwise um, then the next step for this one is to, to add the top part with the mast uh, glued to it. So then the funnel parts have been um, glued together and uh, we are uh, ready to add the other details to the mast when uh, moving on with that. With that part otherwise it's adding of course the search lights and um, the other uh, well there are some guns 20 millimeters and so on that's also going on the platform around the funnel so that's it as you might have understood, I like doing uh, several things at the same time just to make it a bit more uh, interesting in terms of the build itself. So I have started working on the um, the guns. Um, did a bit of a mistake on this one because this was, small part should have been uh, tilted up a bit more. So the barrels are pointing a bit more upwards, but I think it's um, it is okay. Uh, these are very tiny, tiny, tiny parts, and I did omit some uh, because I don't think they will add that much detail, anyways, uh, because they are so tiny. Um, this is of course definitely up to you if you if you like to add them or not, but. That what I that's what I did at, at least. So moving on to the next task. Then the thirty seven millimeters have been uh, painted, and I think they look mighty fine, if I might say so. Um, so just uh, three more m uh, to to make, uh, but if this is the result, then I think I'll be happy other than, of course, having to raise the barrels a bit, as I said. Uh, 